Hey guys, so today we got some information. Basically, the Eternal Night update um, is going to be delayed by one week. It was originally uh, scheduled for May 2nd, and now it's going to be coming out on May 9th. Uh, the reasoning behind it is because they said they needed additional testing and preparation. I'm assuming what that means really is that they really need to tone down the bosses or do something to change it for North America and Europe because there's no way our region is going to be able to like clear even the first boss except like the most end game geared whales that possibly exist in the game. Like They really need to tone it down and I think that's what they mean by the preparation stuff like that because maybe they're realizing that hey you know it's already was really hard for the Korea server and they were even more geared than us so it's like it doesn't even really make sense that they're releasing it this early but they are uh but they're gonna be delaying it by a week so it's not a big deal it'll still come out really soon um basically about three weeks instead of like two weeks and uh yeah they're just gonna be doing that i'm assuming there'll still be buds on release and stuff like that there usually always is with raids even if they do have extra week to prepare still not a lot of time it's only three weeks uh but that's what they're doing uh with that they are extending the automation assault event dungeon uh, basically by one more week so if you look at it you can kind of plan uh, another item you can get maybe you can get another sacred oil or an outfit something like that because you have a whole extra week to farm event tokens on all your characters and your alts so that's kind of cool you know maybe get a little extra item so that's nice uh, but overall just one week it's not a big deal but that's what they're doing uh, also one thing that I found kind of weird is Basically in Korea, they released a, a, a solo kind of like dungeon instance area called, uh, it's basically 1v1 Master Hong. Uh, I don't really know the exact name of the area and stuff like that, but 1v1 Master Hong is kind of like Tower of Affinity where there's a timer and the faster that you kill him, the faster ranking you get and uh, he drops items. One of the items he drops is a bracelet uh, that you use to upgrade the new legendary bracelets from the Sandstorm Temple. So we're getting the Sandstorm Temple dungeon and the new raid. But we're not getting Master Han. So basically, you can freaking farm Sandstorm Temple, get the bracelet, but then you can't upgrade it to even stage 1 because you need the bracelet from Master Han to upgrade it. So basically, you have the really weak, crappy version of it until who knows when they, uh, they release Master Han. Maybe in like June or July. So really weird how they did this. They just like completely, I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe they're just like, yeah. You know, you guys can just hold on to the bracelet for a good, you know, month and a half, and then maybe you can upgrade it. It just, is this all kind of out of whack, and just makes it seem like they're just, like, rushing out content? Because there's no reason why they couldn't put Master Hanyan so you actually could get your Heaven and Earth bracelet. Because right now you're just going to have a crappy version if it drops, because you can't even upgrade it to stage 1. So, very weird system that they're doing, um, but, you know, I don't really understand it.